what's up guys and welcome to my channel i'm ada and if you're new here like i think i'm the one who's new here because this is my first official youtube video and i'm so excited i've been wanting to do this for the longest time and thank god that finally i can do it so moving on i visited sometime last year i visited the onicha fabric market it is called in anambra nigeria and that market is called ahia abada ahia means market in Ibu, and abada means um, aka fabrics so when i did a blog post about my visit to that market a lot of people reached out to me asking me where exactly the market was the um how much fabric cost they would really love to go to the market and all that so i thought that i said myself that the next time i'll be going to the market i'll probably do a vlog so that it will if for people in that part of nigeria or people who will be visiting and will want to go to that market it will be easier for them to locate the market so if you want to see what the market looked like and how my trip to the market went keep watching I go down. I'm, I'm in Onitra right now, and I'm heading towards the market. It's not really safe to vlog here, but I'm taking my shots, giving my chances. The market is just above. I'll show you a picture of what the bridge looks like right now. The bridge and the market is just beside the bridge, cousin, just over here. So I'll be going in right now, and. I don't think it's safe to vlog in there, so this is just me waiting in here. Yeah, see you. fabric I got is this black fabric I got this fabric for 600 one of the things I like about this fabric is the print on the fabric you know I one thing that made me stay away from black fabrics is um, because some of them are just too plain like they're just too plain but when I saw this my heart just went with it I loved it and it's not so thick it's just in between polyester and the uh, cotton, something like that is a bit stretchy and I got this for 600 naira I'll be using it to make a black skirt for a lot of my blouses that do not have skirts and I've not been wearing them like I have like three blouses in my wardrobe that I've not worn from the day I made them just because I don't have a black fabric so yeah it is the second one I got is this fabric this fabric is more like in between chiffon and cotton I think that's what I feel chiffon and cotton and I got this fabric for 800 naira and I got two yards the guy told me 500 for one yard but since I was buying two yards I bargained it down to 800 naira for two yards I'll be making something really free with this because of the texture of the fabric so that's just it and this is how the back looks like this is how the front print looks like 
the third fabric I got is this I don't know if to call this fabric a plant fabric now or a floor it's not a floral fabric but let's say it's a plant print fabric a dull it's like a, a dull orange and I like the fabric for very weird reasons I don't know why I like it but I just like how cool the color looks and I'm still thinking of what to sew with this fabric have any ideas let me know okay and I got this fabric for 900 naira the guy said um, one yard went at 500 naira but i got two yards for 900 naira so i had like 100 naira cut from it and because i really wahala the guy i was like this is new year you're not going to give me discount or what then the last fabric i got is this pink and black fabric uh i got this fabric for 600 and i got just one yard and i'm just make, going to make a blouse with it sincerely my cousin was suggesting I made a skirt with this, but I was wondering like, how would I make this skirt with this type of fabric? This fabric is for just to make, make this skirt up with it. I'm just going to make a blouse and blouse it is. So fabrics were not the only things I got in the market. I also got a new pair of scissors. I got this for 150 and it's not like I'm out of scissors. I just like having extra scissors in my room because sometimes you just be cutting and your scissors will disappear. And you will not know what happened so i like having an extra pair of scissors so that those times when the scissors disappears like action movie i will just pick up the spare one and later i'll find the one that got missing most times they're always under maybe the main fabric i'm cutting the second one second thing i got is this hemming gum that's what i call it i call it a hemming gum but most times i use it for the hem of my of my dresses but some people call it sealer it just has this gum it's like when you put gum in between two surfaces and it holds them together so this is that's what this hemming fabric hemming gum does and the last thing last last thing i got in my fabric haul is this pack of pain who remembers this pain like i <laughs> i don't know but this thing reminds me of my home economy class home economics class when i was in jss one so I got another pack of pins. Not that I'm out of pins, but I just have like having a spare pack of pin in my stash because I don't like going out. So one of the things I like about this market is it is not so crowded. They sell fabrics in the Onicha main market, but I don't like going to the Onicha main market because the Onicha main market is always very crowded. And we have this annoying seller that keep pulling your hands and telling you, no, come and buy for me, fine girl. And if you don't want them, that is just the worst thing you do, that could see your face and all that, so that is just that. I hope you enjoyed this video about my trip to the Onicha Fabric Market. If you want to see more of these videos, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, of course, you get a notification. And don't forget to follow me on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Stitch Dress. And I'll see you next time. Bye.